Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your second PSD2 responsive website tutorial and in this video we're just going to dive in and start slicing up some images in Photoshop. Okay then gang, so as you can see I've gone ahead and opened up this PSD template in Photoshop and uh, I just want to show you what we're going to be slicing, which images we need to extract from this PSD file so we can use them in our build. So. What you want to do is head down to this slice tool right here. You might need to right click and make sure it's slice tool that's selected right here and not this one or this one. Okay, so select that. And uh, then what you want to do to slice something is just click and then drag around the image that you want to slice. Okay, just like that. And then that little yellow border will pop up. Double click it and you can give your slice a name, your image a name, and it's some specific width and height properties if you want to tweak those also. So let's get rid of that. You can see I've already made some slices, these little blue boxes right here and here and here and here and here. They're all the slices I've made for this website. So I'm just going to go through each one by selecting the slice select tool to show you what the dimensions are and what I've called them. So if you want to just make these slices as well, We've got this one for the logo and it's just called logo and these are the dimensions right here. Now we could use uh, just normal text in the HTML to make this logo but I've not got the actual um, font file for that so I'm just going to make it an image for now to save some time. Next one I've done is this banner right here. So it's this big and um, it's called banner and these are the dimensions so that's okay. These down here they are all called icon 1 or icon 2 or icon 3 etc and they're all 96 by 96 pixels so you might want to slice those as well these thumbnails here are all called snap 1 uh, snap 2 I think yeah and then snap 3 and they are all 380 by 270 then down here we've got this little quotation mark for the block quote area and if we double click that you can see I've called it quote and these are the dimensions and then finally, down here, if we zoom in, in the footer, you can see these little Twitter icons, these little beige birds. I've just sliced one of them. We don't need to slice all three because we're going to use the same one for every single tweet. And I've called that tweet, and it's 13 by 10 pixels. So I've sliced that as well. Now, if you've opened this PSD file open in Photoshop as well, you might have noticed some little extra icons down here. Now, I've removed those for the sake of this tutorial just to save some time. We've got icons here and I'm going to show you the technique and the same technique would be used for these things over here. Uh, but for quickness, I'm just going to do it on these things right here and I've deleted those ones. Okay. So that is it, my friends. That is the entire Photoshop file slice. These are all the images we need. So what you want to do when you've done that is go to file and save for web devices. And then what we need to do now is go through each slice that we've made by clicking on it. Make sure this is selected, this icon, then we can click on them. So click on the slices and make sure you choose the right format for each one. Now this is a flat image, so we've just gone with PNG 8. This is the banner, so I've gone with a JPEG, medium quality, just to save some file size. You can see the file size down there. That's why I've not made it high. If you put it on maximum, you can see it jumps up to 91K, but medium is 12K, so it saves a lot of file size and the quality isn't reduced that much. So I'm just going to hold down space to drag down here and then click on this. This is a PNG 8 as well, as is this and the other icons. Um, this is a JPEG, again medium quality, as are the other snaps. You can see they're all JPEG, medium quality. And then this quotation mark is a PNG, it's just a flat image, as is this tweet down here. Okay, PNG 8. So once you've done that for each slice, just go to save and then what you want to do is select all slices here because that just means it's going to save out the images that you've sliced and not the extra stuff that Photoshop deems necessary for some reason. Um, so make sure that's selected to all slices and then just click save. You can see I've already done that and it's saved all of those images there in an images folder. Okay, you might be looking at this and thinking, well, I've not sliced that. That is an extra little icon that I've created for the mobile design and we're going to cover that in the next tutorial. So go ahead and click save. And then we are done, guys. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to take this design right here. We're going to make a new PSD and we're going to transfer this to the new PSD to represent or to create a mobile view. So we've got a kind of starting point on where we need to get to for mobiles as well. So if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to throw a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share and like, and I'll see you in the very next video.